So here we are with Michaela's run. I was a little bit disappointed in, in her run actually because I think that she's skiing a little bit more passive than than she used to. I'm not sure what's going on but there's a few little theories that I have and I'll get into those right now. But yeah, here's the, the very first one you can see right here. This is the, one of the things that I saw her, her consistently doing through this run was have a look look at the tip and the tails. So the path of the tip and the path of the tail. The tails are taking a much wider line than the, the tips for most of the top of most turns actually. She looks like she's pushing out and skidding out to an edge and you can see it in her snow spray as well. You, really here you can see that what I'm talking about and and I have to say though that Michaela's technique is definitely the best out of any of the girls but at the moment it's not really um, translating into speed not being as fast compared to the other girls as she was over the last few winters and you know one one thing is one aspect is um, I think it's a boot setup at the moment which I'll get into in a second which which is affecting this part that I'm just talking about now, the initiation. When she starts the turn and she's initiating into the turn, if we look at the tips again and have a look at the tails, the tips are following a much more direct path than the tails and the tails are skidding out and she's skidding out to an edge and getting edge grip right here, much later than the other girls. She's not entering the turn clean and carving the top part of the turn. She's skidding and you know skidding is a braking mechanism more friction so she's losing time here um, you know I don't I don't know if this is a technical thing so much I think it's more of a more of a boot setup thing which I'll, I'll show you now so if you have a look here her her ankle is really really open and this is what I've been consistently seeing in her, her skiing as of late is that her boot set up, her ankle, is much more open than I think it should be. Um, I'm not sure what her boot techs have done, if they've actually measured her, the length of her tib and fib and her femur and her torso length and done a movement assessment on in her equipment to see what type of range of movement she has with different setups. I'd, I have no idea what they've done. But just from what I'm seeing here is that she, her ankle's stuck open and if your ankle's too far open I think it's very hard for you to properly evert the foot at the top of the turn. The foot, you can see this, this new outside ski is really far forward so you won't be able to get any you know, pressure at the tip, you won't be able to tip the feet as easy. It's a much bigger move for you to pull your feet back up underneath you and what is ending up happening is that she's just pushing out to the edge and you can see the snow spray pushing out and the feet are actually never behind her again. She finishes off the turn really nice I have to say like she's always in a really good angulated position balanced over the outside ski, inside hand forward in, inside shoulder forward in, it's good stuff. She she's just missing this top part of the turn every every time just the, the tails are drifting out in comparison to the the tips and right here engage really nice here this is um you know I think it's to do with her boot setup I don't think it's really a technical thing I think that she's a good enough athlete to be able to make these changes quickly but I think just her boots are not allowing her to to actually get forward you can see yes yeah, so it's just the same thing at the top of the turn you can see that that snow spray there just pushing out to that edge there and that's what I'm that's what I'm seeing much more in her skiing this year I thought I think I don't remember her doing that this much you can see a cloud of snow here and then all the way through the turn all the way to the end and then same thing here the tails are displacing like a, like a heel push out to the edge and 
sliding out to that to that edge in this big spray of snow. Big spray, big spray, big spray. It's just not not as clean at the top of the turn as she could be, so she's just not carving as much of the turn as um, as what Victoria Rivensburg was doing. But I mean, as far as like a demonstrator type technical free ski look, she is definitely skiing the nicest. She has a really good hand position. She has you know very good discipline hip angulated position, good shoulder position. It's just at the moment she's just coming into the turns, and yeah, here's a really another really good example. Just cutting off the top of the turn and skidding. This is more of a stivet. That's more of a deliberate movement that she's trying to do here. So I can't really compare that. But the the other the other ones are much more slight, like there. And um, yeah, there you can see it there as well. Look at that. Tips are nearly in the same place. Tails following a much rounder line. That's um, you know, something that I think that she she could change in her skiing that would make her, you know, much a little bit faster, even faster than what she's going at the moment. All right, on to Victoria Rensburg. She had a really good run here. Um, yeah, I was really impressed with her skiing overall. Um, you know, obviously she had her own flaws and her own mistakes, which I'll get into in a second, but. What I'm really liking about um, Victoria's skiing is her edge-to-edge -edge skiing, and you can see it in this one that we compared with with um, with Michaela's run here. So she's you know clean on the edge right here. This is one thing I'll get into is her her inside shoulder, her left shoulder. She's really dropping that back, and that's always something that I think on steeper terrain can get into trouble on different courses. This course isn't particularly steep, so she could get away with it. But have a look at this. The tip and the tail. Following the same path, you can see here there's no displacement of the tail. And the tip is following a really nice path here. And, and that was the difference. The entry into the turn. So much cleaner. Developing edge angles and carving from the top all the way through to the end. So that's, um, you can see also the, you can see also the snow spray here. It's just much less snow spray. And that's also another sign of, of um, you know, cleaner ski contact, cleaner carving. There was a big snow spray there, but I mean, consistently there's much less snow spray than what Michaela was doing. And, and if Victoria didn't make that big mistake on the second run, then she would have been able to, um, she would have been able to really probably be one second faster. But have a look at this here. That's what I'm talking about with this inside shoulder. Well, both shoulders here are way back. You can see she's just like jumping back up the hill, but. Yeah, so far back. But what what I see is that the inside hand is dropping back and in, and and see that you can see it that inside pole getting thrown back up the hill, and then she has to kind of chuck herself into the into the next turn. She's not doing what she was doing up on up on the flatter section. I think this could be a little bit of a worry for her when she gets onto a steeper course. Is um. Is this movement if she doesn't enter the turn a little bit more clean instead of throwing herself back, back and in? I mean, she still managed it here, and it was still, yeah, you can see here, shoulders just getting back and in there. Yep, right here, same same thing. Her arms are just a little bit wild. I mean, Michaela's arm position and and shoulder discipline and hip discipline is just, you know way way better than than Rebensburg but you know Rebensburg's giving it a bit more of a, a go and, and actually attacking the top part of the turn and engaging the tip and, and carving more of the turn and that's why we're seeing 
you know, this result. I think that Michaela can definitely, you know, change these things and come back and have a really good run and definitely win. But at the moment, if she skis like that, then there's a few other girls out there that are carving more of the turn than she is. So, yeah, here's that, here's that turn again. Really nice. Really, really good. It's that movement there. You can see it. Shoulders facing down the hill into the next turn. And just rolling and tipping the feet and ankles and letting the hip move in. Nice. Yeah, it's really, really, really good skiing when she's skiing like this. Anyways. Anyway, guys, hopefully that was a bit of a help. And if you guys have any more questions or want me to do any analysis on any other people, just put in the comment section below. If you feel these things help, just make sure you give it a thumbs up and, and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys again next time.